Good morning, folks. I've just given Bambi and his breakfast, so yeah, perfect timing. Here again is Bambini on his first walkies in Stinky Woods. Yeah. Well, it's the 25th of December, so Merry Christmas, etc., etc., to you. Yeah, I've just added the song, and uh, then one of the four to the last video that I did. Uh, the video being God and the world are waiting for us to change. The reason why I put that song that song in there wasn't because of the fact that I'm saying these people are fools. Because when these people realise that they've been waiting for something that's of the devil, not of God. And they've been waiting for decades and decades and decades and decades and decades for this thing to happen. Yeah. This is what they feel like a fool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got a whole church that's been waiting for God to revive the church. God is never going to revive the church because what, is, what does revive mean? It means to bring it back to its best. Well, the problem is the best of the church has never been good enough never been the best of the church has only led it to where it is now so if, if the best of the church has only led it to where it is now clearly that's not good enough because clearly that can't stand it couldn't stand then so it couldn't it couldn't stand in the future could it really so therefore revival is not what god's going to do what god's going to do is renew so they're asking for a revival at a time when God's going to bring renewal, but we have to change for that to happen. We have to, we'll put it this way, nah, yeah. We have to have that, that desire in us to change. We have to have that desire for God and for a relationship with God and for <sighs> to be who God has called us to be. And God will do the rest. But at the moment, clearly you don't see that desire in church. Because you don't. Yeah, that's the thing, you don't you don't see that in church. Yeah. But yeah, if we know what to come, then we will we will have to see that, and we are going to see it to a certain degree. I think we we we've got an interesting year coming because yeah, if if God has been making us wait, and it's actually God has been making us wait for the last say four months probably, then. Yeah, something's on its way. Something big is on its way. Yeah, God's going to do something incredible. So, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. But, yeah. Waiting and waiting for something that's of the devil is a very, very common thing. It's what we do. And yeah, because even I did videos when I first started, um, you know, during that time of my stand, I was trying to stand on other things as well. And more than often, I was standing on things that weren't of God, that were lies of the devil. And he was trying to get me the fall, but I stood on them anyway. And I fell slightly, but God always helped me to get back up. But on that point in time, the amount of things that I stood on that were of the devil, that weren't of God. Yeah, I talked about it a lot at that time because, you know, I was going through it because God wanted me to talk about it so other people could learn from it. And so, yeah. Well, as I say, this is why, yeah, 
I say about going to church. Yeah, I avoid going to church because I'd rather do videos talking about um, yeah, real life things for Christians and yeah, what what God is saying or what God is doing or how God is helping me in my walk. I'd rather do videos talking about that. But when I go to church, then all of a sudden, what is highlighted to me is a horrendous state that church is in. And God is therefore speaking to me about that, so I'm sharing that. Because it's right to share that. It's right to share what I see. If what I see is horrifying, it's right that people know that. And know that, you know, not only is that the case here, but if that's the case in your area, you're not the only ones. And so, yeah. I did that when I was going to Pentecostal church, certainly when I started seeing that for what it really is. Which, yeah, okay. For the first couple of weeks there, I didn't see it as it really was. And the reason why I didn't see it as it really was was because of the fact that I was in love and focusing on that. And that, that took my focus. Um, but once I realised... When it came to October, I realised that uh, that lady was in fact married. But then, in my focus, changed after that um, because it was no longer focused on the love, but it's focused on oh my god, what am I in? <laughs> this church is horrendous. What? Eh? I, I don't see this before, but yeah, yeah, I didn't. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. But put it this way, I wish all of those people in that church and in River Church a fantastic Christmas and a wonderful New Year. Yeah. I'll oh, put it this way, I mean, look, no. yeah. I've said before, and it is still the case, and it always will be the case, that even with your worst enemy, you know, the worst thing you can actually want for them is for them to be convicted of their sin. Yeah, for them. Yeah, for them as they are right now, the worst thing you can want for them is for them to be convicted of their sin and for them to then be of God and change the whole way they are. It's because you know, them as they are now would hate that. And that's what's going to be best for everyone, including you. So, yeah. So, do I wish ill upon those people? No. I hope they get to a position where they can be right with God. Because, yeah. Especially if they have to, yeah, eat humble pie and realise that, um, yeah. And it really is as horrifying as I was saying, as it is right now. Yeah that would be good for them and that will help them in some way yeah so there you go no more of the fall yeah yeah well I mean I didn't mention relationships in the one yesterday but relationships are the same yeah people are in relationships hoping that that relationship will change even though it won't you've got to change to make it change if you want to see change whether that's in the church in your job or in your relationship you have to change in order to see that change you will not see that change unless you're willing to change that's the reality so yeah Whatever it is you're waiting for, whatever it is you're looking for, you must be willing to change to see that happen. If you're not willing to change, you will never see that happen. It's not saying it won't happen, but you won't see it happen. So as I say, it's a willingness. You have to have that willingness. When you have the willingness, God will help you. God will bring you through that. But if you're if you're standing at the front of the tunnel not being willing to go through well then God's not going to help you to get through there yeah you take care God bless I'll speak to you soon bye bye